Oh, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. I have some people who have messaged me who have seen me read and other people who I'm also helping um, as a mentor with their reading ask me about reading um, just a simple three card spread. Now tarot is a visual and poetic language and um, one of the things is that it talks to us the way that um, through visual, uh, like I said, through visuals of it. Uh, the idea is what I recommend with my people I teach with or mentor or who I'm mentoring is that you put down the situation and you write your question down, preferably in an exercise book or your diary journal um, or on computer, however you like to do it. And you then, if you're a beginner, this is a, in a beginner situation, and then you put your question down and you shuffle your question into the cards and you um, do your cards reading. Now, people who have been messaging me have told me that they struggle with past, present and future and um, it's sort of, all of a sudden it's almost like this wall comes up and I get that because I've been there a long time ago but I have been there so what I do, thought I'd do was just share with you a tech, technique that you can try and see if that sort of eases the way of doing it for you uh, until you're sort of ready to move to another step so I'm just going to uh, change the cameras why have I got face this there we go sorry about that they've all moved around it does update i'm going to be using my um classic tarot and here's the new backs for them it's a beautiful deck oh that's the box oh, don't the boxes. sorry about that here it is the lovely classic tarot and we're going to just Imagine that you've asked the question, will I meet my soulmate in the next three months? And assuming that you are doing the things you need to do to meet your soulmate, putting in the effort of however it is you've chosen to meet somebody, uh, and let's just see what the cards say for this. And cutting them into three. And I'm just going to take it from the top. Okay. Here we have three cards with that. We have um, Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Temperance. So instead of going past, present and future, which is one way you can do it, but it can also, when you're new, bring up a block for some people. And that's okay. We're all, we're all, all different. So what you can do is go, is say, as go, as say is, as you can see, you seem to be in a bit of a head spin or in a spin and round in circles into um, a way of how you're going to meet somebody. You've been doing all the things and it feels like you're in a spin with it all and been, you feel like you've been going around in circles. And this is because you've been putting in the effort to meet somebody and somebody came along but they weren't the right one but you put the effort in for that and that is sort of thinking, well, I did this and then didn't work out here I am back on the treadmill with uh, meeting someone, dating people, the whole thing that goes with that. What I can expect soon, because you set the time of the next three months, is if I am consistent in my effort and I am patient, or you, um, if you're asking for yourself, it's oh, I am, um, the angel of time is going to give me the healing from all of this and also someone new is going to appear for me but I have to be patient and I have to get the right amount of effort and do the right amount of 
um, blending, uh, you know, doing what you got to do, putting that, putting in that right amount of effort in, in a measured amount, being patient and being consistent with it. And there you have your reading. So you've gone from one, two to three. And that way you don't have this block of starting here and going there. That's just another way you can do it. What you can also do is look what's at the bottom of the deck. And you've got the nine of cups. There is a wish card. Do what you have to do and your wish will come true. That adds to your read in a very simple sense. Then, as I said, if you've put it in your journal and you do what you uh, have to do, then you look back in the time frame that you set for your reading and see how it went. Because there's no right or wrong, there's only feedback. So I hope that helps. Uh, that's just one way. There's many ways to do it. But I hope that helps you be able to um, enjoy your cards and get something from the cards. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.